After more than 40 years of battle-tested use, the French army is ready to let go of its aging fleet of Véhicules de l'Avant Blondie, or VAB, and replace it with a more powerful armored personnel carrier, the Griffin VBMR. This 6x6 wheel-armored vehicle is about to become the new troop transport vehicle of the French military. Fitted with a 400-horsepower Renault engine and a 400-liter tank, the Griffin has an autonomy of over 800 kilometers and can reach speeds of more than 90 kilometers per hour. It can easily traverse the harshest terrains, such as jungles and rocky mountains. The 24.5-ton APC can swiftly deliver up to eight soldiers in the heat of battle under cover of a hull resistant to heavy machine guns, artillery rounds, and nuclear material. While in a combat zone, the Griffin can provide cover to its troops with an arsenal of heavy machine guns to deter hostile enemy forces employing small arms, and even keep armored vehicles at bay when equipped with anti-tank guided missiles and smoke grenades to attack, relocate, and destroy enemy armor from different positions. The Veteran The Véhicule de Levant Blondé, or VAB, simply known as Armored Forward Vehicle, has served with distinction to the French Armed Forces since its introduction in 1976, during the turbulent days of the Cold War against the Soviet Union. The Armored Personnel Carrier has served France and its allies in the Western Sahara War, the Lebanese Civil War, the Bosnian War, the Gulf War, Afghanistan, and even the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian War as of 2023. The VAB, developed by Renault Trucks Defense, was exported to more than 15 countries and evolved into more than 30 variants and sub-variants, producing over 5,000 armored vehicles. Besides transporting troops to battlefields or wherever they are most needed, the VAB was well suited for mechanized infantry combat, medical evacuation, anti-tank, mortar, artillery observation, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare roles. Despite its continuous upgrades and battle-tested performance, the French Army started phasing out the VAB in 2019 and replaced it with the more powerful VBMR Griffin vehicle. The Griffin In 2014, during a visit to the 27th Mountain Infantry Brigade Artillery of Varsais, Jean-Yves Le Drian, the French Minister of Defense, handed the EBMR program, or Armored Multi-Roles Vehicles Project, to the CEOs of the GME, a group of Montenay d'Entreprise, formed by the French companies Next Air Systems, Renault Trucks Defense, and Thales. The consortium and the French Army agreed on delivering over 1,700 vehicles, beginning production in 2018 and 2019. The Griffin is a 6x6 wheeled armored vehicle developed to replace the aging VAB and function as the newest troop transport vehicle for the French military. The Griffin shares up to 70% of commonality with upcoming Jaguar ERBC wheeled armored fighting vehicles. A prototype was showcased for the first time during Eurosatory 2016 in Paris, France. Contrary to the VAB and its 30 versions, the consortium announced the Griffin would only be available in six variants, these being the MEPAC, Ambulance, CRBN, Engineering, Command and Artillery Post, and the ATV, or Troop Transport Vehicle, which comprises a refueling medium-range missile and sniper shooting section versions. The Griffin has a length of 20 feet, a width of 8 feet, a height of 9.8 feet, and a gross vehicle weight rating of 24.5 tons. These dimensions are designed to afford it agility and versatility in the battlefield. Whatever comes its way. The Griffin has a standard vehicle arrangement with the power pack at the front, the crew in the middle, and the troop compartment at the rear. The crew of two comprises a driver and gunner, and up to eight soldiers can sit in the compartment area. The exterior structure offers protection against underhaul mines, artillery spray from 155mm shrapnel, 14.5mm light weapons, and improvised explosive devices. The Griffin has a 400 horsepower engine, coupled with an automatic gearbox, independent running gears, and six-wheel drive, providing excellent tactical mobility. The Griffin also features a steering rear axle, roll-flat system, inflation pressure variation system, and state-of-the-art electronic architecture. 
All these innovations allow the Griffin to reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour on different types of terrain. The 400 liter capacity of the tank affords the Griffin a staggering 800 kilometer range, more than enough for long-term missions. The Griffin is also prepared for anything that happens on the battlefield. It was designed with repairability in mind and is very easy to maintain. The motor propulsion unit can be removed and reinstalled in less than four hours. On the offensive. In order to protect the troops inside, the Griffin features a remote weapon station that can be armed with a 40mm grenade launcher or a 7.62 or 12.7mm machine gun, which can include launchers for smoke grenades. When the mission requires stronger, more specific firepower, two Acheron MP anti-tank guided missiles can be fitted. Depending on the combat scenario, the Griffin crew can decide which armament fits better. If the objective is to deliver men in a combat zone with enemy forces using small arms, a machine gun can be more than enough to provide them cover while they reach the hot zone. On the other hand, if faced with enemy armored vehicles in the combat zone, the anti-tank guided missiles would come in handy to keep the enemy at bay and deploy smoke grenades to conceal the movements of the Griffin while it moves across the battlefield to attack from different zones. To this end, the Griffin's turret has a day and night sighting system to bolster accuracy and enemy detection over the battlefield. The turret also features a Metrovib Slate acoustic sniper localization system. Other features of the Griffin include a command, control, and networking system, laser and radar warning protection system, missile detection, and the standard NBC, or nuclear, biological, and chemical protection, with overpressure and air conditioning, allowing the personnel inside more than adequate shielding from whatever the enemy throws their way. Scorpion program. The first roadworthy Griffin multi-role combat vehicle prototypes began performance trials in August 2019, with more scheduled to be delivered by 2020 for additional tests. In September 2020, the French Army Technical Section performed the first boarding tests of the Griffin VBMR aboard the Navy's Mistral amphibious assault ship. The Griffin armored vehicle boarded the Mistral through the ship's side door to verify its interoperability with an amphibious vessel moored to a harbor without a row-row or roll-on-roll -roll capability. According to Nathan Gain from Naval News, this successful trial complemented other amphibious tests conducted months earlier, including testing Griffin's boarding capabilities with the French EDRR Rapid Amphibious Craft and the CTM Standard Amphibious Landing Craft. The Scorpion program is an ambitious, large-scale modernization project aiming to update existing vehicles with new capabilities and procure new ones. During the success of these tests, which have proven the amphibious capability of the Griffin, there's still a long way to go, as the French military is still in the transition phase of an all-Scorpion model merging a dual competence, that of an onboard battle group and a Scorpionized battle group for amphibious operations. France seeks to bring the entire military into an age of collaborative and synchronized combat, which explains why they seek to modernize their combat vehicles with robust sensors, drone integration, and new levels of communication between troops of different branches. Ready for service. On December 21st, 2021, the new French combat vehicle developed by Engin Blanc de Multiroles for the Scorpion program achieved a new milestone, delivering the 119th and last troop carrier scheduled for 2021. The Groupement Montenay d'Entreprise, comprised of Nextair, Arquis, and Thales, took to the media to mention that they had met their delivery target for 2021. In early 2020, another 128 combat vehicles were submitted for verification, leading to a total of 339 delivered to the French Armed Forces. The latest delivery by the GME also confirms that all troop transport variants of the Griffin are now fully qualified, including the 81mm mortar M081, refueling RAV, engineer GEN, medium-range missile MMP, and the command post vehicle EPC versions. Delivery of more Griffin vehicles and tests will continue throughout 2023 to continue improving the capabilities of France's latest armored vehicle. It is expected the last Griffins will be delivered by 2025, according to the schedule set by the military and the GME. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Tech channel 
to learn more about the latest combat vehicles delivered to the battlefield. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos.